The Poisson distribution is another probability distribution that we can use for discrete processes. It expresses the probability of a given number of events occurring in a fixed interval of time or space when the average number of events occurring is known. So we can use this to analyze how frequently an outcome occurs over a certain period of time or space. For example, if we know that on average 2.5 accidents happen at a given intersection each year, we might want to know what is the probability of having a year with four accidents. Or if we know that each hectare of forest on average has two raccoon dens, what is the probability of finding a hectare having five raccoon dens? So here we see that the outcome, uh, uh, that the average number of events is known within some time period or within some area, and we want to know what's the probability of seeing some other number of events occurring in that area or time period. In this case, we can use the Poisson distribution. The probability of there being x occurrences of an event is equal to lambda to the power of x divided by e to the lambda times x factorial. Lambda is just the notation that we're going to use for the mean frequency, and that is going to be given to you in the problem statement. x is the number of occurrences that we're interested in knowing the probability for e is an exponential constant. If you aren't uh, very comfortable with calculus, it's simple to remember that e is just a number, is just a letter that we use to represent the number 2.72. And the factorial, again, is defined in the same way. So if we have x factorial, that's just equal to x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 up until 1. So let's have some practice. Suppose we want to know the probability of having four accidents in a year when the average number of accidents at an intersection is just two. In this case, the number of events we're interested in x is equal to four. We want to know the probability of there being four accidents. And on average, we know that there are two accidents per year. So lambda equals 2. All we have to do is plug in the numbers into this equation. We have lambda to the power of x, so 2 to the power of 4. We have e to the power of lambda, so e squared. And then we have 4 factorial, x factorial. That's equal to 16. e squared in my calculator was 7.39. And 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is just 24. And this is roughly equal to 9%. So the probability of having exactly 4 accidents in a year, when usually we only see 2 accidents per year, is 9%. We could calculate the Poisson probability distribution by calculating the probabilities for all of the different outcomes. So remember, we, in the previous slide, we calculated the probability of four events to be 9%. So over here on this dimension, on this y-axis, we have 9%. If we were to plug in the formula and letting x equal everything from 0 up until 7, we could calculate all of the different probabilities. Now, technically speaking, we didn't need to stop at 7 as the maximum probability. In fact, there's always a minute chance of any number of accidents occurring. A million accidents could occur, but on average, when there's only two accidents at that location per year, the probability of there being a million accidents is really, really small. So we find that this probability is going to approach the zero line uh, very rapidly after say, seven events. So s the probabilities are so small that we don't really even need to calculate them to get a picture of what the probability distribution function is. What about the expected value of this probability distribution function? We could do the normal thing by taking the sum of k times pk, 
which in this case is going to be 0 times 0 0.13 plus 1 times 0.27 plus 2 times 0.27. And we'll do that for each of these outcomes. But you'll see here that, uh, that the number of potential outcomes, we said, is infinite. There is a chance that you can have 8 accidents, 9 accidents, 10 accidents. So in fact, in order to accurately compute this, we can't do it in the manual way that we've learned so far. But don't worry. In order to do this, uh, we don't actually have to do this to know the expected value because it's a little bit of a trick question. Uh, the parameter lambda is the expected value of the random variable in the case when the variable is Poisson distributed. So lambda is the expected value. If we were to do this and we were to calculate the infinite sum of this series of k times pk, we would get our answer equal to lambda. In this case, lambda was equal to 2.